Yeah, um, you know, it was uh, I needed it. I need uh, I needed to relax. It was it, it was hard, but uh, you know, we saw the benefits what happened with Calvin. You know, taking that that year off, and I fully got healed. Uh, you know, you know, we, we had we I gave you know my, my fiance gave birth, so I got to kind of like settle in and, and uh, you know just concentrate on that. Yeah. I was just say so when you do that, I mean. Uh, you know, you you realize that you're doing it for the right reasons, and there's discipline to do that. But the whole time, you're like, man, let's let's go, get me booked. Or do you really like take the time to enjoy it and and, and unplug for a while? No, no, I, I was I was fully bought in. I was like, all right, listen, we need we need to uh, take some time off. You know, I it was like, I want to say it was like a jab that Cheeto hit me with, and it just felt like my face just broke. It was like, all right, and I th- I think it was from still uh, rushing it from the Aldo fight. You know, so it was one of those things like, all right, let's sit back. I don't ever want to feel that again. You know. Yeah. So when you know it's time, all right, now it's time to go, is it something physically in the way you feel or is it something mentally in the way you, you know, you feel that you think, okay, now let's get back in there? A little bit of both, you know, a little bit of both. Physically, I, I feel 100%. Uh, mentally, I'm there. I, I feel checked in. I feel, uh, you know, like, like, like I miss it. You know, I miss it getting in there. I miss the camp. I miss the, the sparring. I miss the, you know, I miss, I miss even just cutting weight. You know, like the, the last fight, it was like I was just basically just trying to get to the fight. It wasn't, it wasn't like a game plan. It wasn't really – wasn't really much like like fun to that Cheeto fight. It was just trying to make way and, and just rushing it to get there, you know? Now you're back and you're on a big pay per view event, sold out, Miami. I mean, first big venue crowd you've had in a while, right? So I mean does that excite you? I mean what once you're in there it's just a fight in a cage, right? But does that environment excite you? Yeah, hundred percent. You know, this is my first fight in front of a crowd since uh, Ricky Simone. That was DC. I believe that was two twenty nineteen. So it's been a while, you know. Um obviously the apex is cool, but there's nothing like this, you know. Nice. Talk about the matchup itself, because when it was announced, I think on paper, everybody's like, oh, this looks like it's going to be a lot of fun. Is, is that what you thought as well? A hundred percent. You know, uh, Adrian brings it. He's, um, he's I believe, 5-0 in the UFC, 11-fight uh, win streak. He, he's, he's finishing a lot of guys. He's, um, he, he's making bonuses all over the place. So, um, so you know, Adrian Yanez, Rob Font, only, only, it has fight of the night written all over it. 100%. Well, did you have to be talked into it all? Like, because there's some guys who are in your position like, well, he's the new kid. You know, I've been paying my dues, facing champions. Like, I, you know, he's got to earn his way here. Did, did you have that attitude or was it like, no, let's do this right away? Yeah, it was like, let's just go. You know, uh, I'm ready to get back in there. You know, um, obviously the way the division was booked and who and, and the, how the fights were working out, you know, you had everybody basically booked up. And, and, and um, you know, obviously I am fighting backwards, but, uh, you know, it is what it is, you know. I, I, why not do it with an exciting guy that's going to bring it and stand up and, and try to take my head off as well? Nice. Last thing for me, I mean, you are still right there at the top of the division. This would be a big win. So, right now, I mean, do you think about that stuff and what's my path to the title, or is it maybe like better to step away and not have to think about that for a while? Man, I'm not thinking about anything else but Adrian Giannis right now. This kid's uh, he's dangerous. He's uh, you know, I'm not letting him take my number. Well, right here, uh, Adrian put out a like a, a post on Instagram when this fight was announced, and he said it was a trip because when he made his pro debut, you had just signed to the UFC. So you, he hadn't even thought about competing in the UFC by the time you were already in there. So um, do you relish these this role as like these young kids coming up and they have to get through you to, to the next chapter of their career? Man, I've been saying this whole time. I'm not even treating him like a young kid. This is a grown-ass man coming in here trying to take my head off. You know, um, he's not like he's like, he's not like 18, like the, you know, so it's kind of like he, he's a grown man. So, um I'm not looking at him like that. Uh, you know, he, he's a grown man, so like I'm gonna treat him like one. And obviously, a lot's made of his boxing. You obviously train with Calvin quite a bit, who's he's highly regarded in his boxing. How does Adrian's boxing compare to the rest of these guys that you train with? He's sharp, compete? man. He's sharp. Um, I love the body work. He, I, I love how he goes to the body. I love his head movement. Um, you know, he, he's 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 one of these guys that like if if you sleep on him, he, he's taking you out. And some big news this past weekend, Endeavor bought 51% stake in the WWE. You guys are kind of co-workers now with those wrestlers. So what do you make of that news? That's pretty kind of cool, man. That's pretty cool. That's huge. You know, uh, hopefully that stock goes up, right? And uh, how do you see the main event playing between Izzy and Alex? Oh, man, it's a, it's a great fight. Um, it, it sucks that, like, 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 you know, it's like more of a mental fight for, uh, for Izzy, you know. And um, unfortunately, I, I kind of see uh, the champ sticking with the belt. Rob, over here. 
Um, <clears throat> quick question for you. Um, you're about the biggest betting underdog you've been in a majority of your time in the UFC here, and, and I'm just kind of curious. You know, you fought some fighters that I think are inarguably better than Adrian Nanez, or at least had more impressive careers leading up to those fights. Just kind of curious. Do you, do you embrace this underdog role? Do you think it's kind of disrespectful? Just curious your take on that. No, I'll, I'll embrace it. You know, uh, put some money on me, man. You're going to win some money for sure. Perfect. And then just curious, too, uh, your take on Miami. Do you, have you been here before? Do you enjoy fighting here? Just kind of curious your take on uh, Miami. I'm loving it. I'm loving it so far. This weather's amazing. You know, uh, I couldn't wait to get out of Boston. You know, um, I, I grew up in Tampa. I spent 10 years in Tampa. Came out here a couple of times, but I never fought in Florida. So this is pretty cool. I get to finally fight in Florida. And, um, and um, yeah, I'm just enjoying it. I can't wait to get out and really enjoy it after this fight. Thank you. Boom, boom. Perfect. Thank you, guys.